In this episode, I'm going to provide a brief update on a few things that changed in game today uh, that went live during or right after the scheduled maintenance today in Splinterlands. And then we're going to roll on, take a look at my two accounts, uh, see how they did over the last season, and hey, spend some glint and try to get some good cards. If that sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey, all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I do appreciate your time. Uh, if you're new here and you're interested in hearing about Splinterlands, don't forget to smash that like button and the subscription button. If you've watched a few and you think you might want to go ahead and hear when I make a new video, hit that bell as well. Okay, so I wanted to start off with a little bit of news because uh, this video is mainly about my account progress during the last season, but I got home and I saw the patch notes that went live after the maintenance today and there are a few things that i want to bring it bring up not earth shattering you know make a, a whole video about them news but uh definitely some interesting things uh that you will be uh wanting to find out if you play the game on a daily basis okay so as always i will leave the uh link to this in the show notes but you can also find it in the discord the official splinterlands discount uh, discord under the announcement section as well okay so the things i wanted to point out first of all they put in some new artwork for halloween we'll take a look at that as well um, but we have five new rule sets and you can see the artwork here uh heavy metal which means you can only summon armored units sounds cool uh might makes right you can only summon units with three or more ranged magic or melee power this is nice this is uh like the opposite of Little League, I guess. Um, need for speed. You can only summon units with three or more speed. Pretty interesting. Deflection field. All yields uh, or all units have the reflection shield ability. This is this will be interesting, um, which will probably yield an all melee match. I don't know. We'll see. And beefcakes. You can only summon units with five or more health. And they have to be from the Chippendales. No, just kidding. Um, so those are the five new ones. And I wanted to also mention while we were talking about this that they removed one. They removed Corrosive Fog. I never really... Uh, it was not exceptionally exciting when I used that. Because it's like it, it came in and it just didn't do a whole lot. So they removed it. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go through everything here. I think that if you are a daily player of Splinterlands, you definitely should come in and read this because there's a bunch of uh, changes and somewhat fixes that they've put in, uh, uh, you know, uh, trying to improve the game. Uh, take out things that are not working, bring in things to spice it up so we just uh, don't get bored and things of this nature. So uh, go ahead and read those. But I did want to mention this, that you will see that they added a, a reward history button where you can replay past tier advancement rewards this little uh, uh, hamburger type icon here in the middle of the reward history shop uh, right next to the shop button so if you uh, lose if you don't see a reward come through like chess or something like that you can go back and replay it and we'll check it out here in a minute because I have some to claim and as I mentioned they made a bunch of different changes uh, which are just little tweaks here so I'm not going to go ahead and go over that right now but uh, you probably should if you're a Splinterlands player. Um, they keep this up to date. Uh, this is on the docs.splinterlands.com website, and you can see that they have updates each time, um, and they post, uh, you know, like you can scroll down and you can see what the, this is the past. Uh, this is the last one. So you can see how many, you know, if you're interested in how many chests you're going to get when you go up rank levels and things of that nature. And also if you're looking up, hey, when did this happen? You can uh, reference this uh, site and see when it happened. Okay, so let's jump over here. And I kept this page up because uh, I had just turned it on when I got home from work. Uh, my uh, account had advanced to Diamond 2. Um, and you'll see some of the new artwork uh, right here. You'll see I had some chests to open. So I figured, hey, I was getting ready to do a video. Might as well just open the chests on video as well. But you'll see that they changed the chest artwork to various forms of pumpkin. Um, so let's go ahead and claim the rewards. Go ahead and use the potions and see what we end up with. A bunch of uh, chests here. 
Let's go ahead and reveal all of them and see what I got, if interest, anything interesting. Okay, we've got uh, eight Commander Slade, four Chaos Adjutant, and those appear to be about the only interesting things. Uh, there's some other commons. We've got a handful of merits, a few potions, but the Commander Slade is about the best one there. I do like the Eurojack uh, Elder for a common, though. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and return to um, return to the main screen here. Now, the thing I just mentioned was the reward screen. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, check out your reward history, and you can see this is the one I just opened up, and you can check out the results and replay them again. Um, and you could go back in time, and uh, you know uh, this comes in handy. You know, especially if you use like I use the Archmage bot. Archmage has updated their client, so you can have it just automatically claim your chests, um, and you can do that to keep everything uh, running smoothly. And then you can go back and you can reference and check it out and see um, see what you got. Okay, so uh, let's take a look here. Okay, so this is where I ended up last season in my main account. Uh, I ended up in Champ Three at uh, thirty. 680 and I earned 131,000 a little bit more than that uh, glint uh, and this is kind of in the same neighborhood I've been in for the last several seasons so let's go ahead and go back okay so I have a little bit over 300,000 glint to spend and uh, check this out new artwork it looks like a mummy of sorts uh, now he's some. I'm trying to remember where I've seen him. He's got like a headgear from like a uh, Egyptian kind of accent there. Pretty cool. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and go back to the shop. And uh, if you've been listening to me on my uh, Saturday morning stand-up live stream, if you want to talk Splinterlands or play-to-earn games or any other, you know, um, uh, Web3 type game you're playing and, and you want to talk about it a little bit, uh, stop by my live stream. Uh, it occurs weekly on Saturday morning at 1130 Eastern Time. I have a lot of assorted people that stop by and we talk about mostly Splinterlands or Atlas Earth, but a few other games tossed in there. And we all always have a lively um, uh, discussion going on so if you if you're like-minded stop on by the more the merrier um, but either way uh, I have discussed this several times I feel that the epic cards from this set um, uh, are really strong so I'm going to go in heavy on the epic draws this time if you're relatively new to Splinterlands you play the game and <clears throat> on a daily basis you earn um, you earn what's called glint, okay? Um, let's go back to the main page. And you can see like this last match I won, and I won 715 glint. You can see from the pop-up window there. And it all adds up. You get some of that right when you win, and you get some at the end of the season. It all builds up. You get a little bit here, and you get a, little, uh, a lot at the end of the season. And then what you can do is you can go into the shop, and you can spend that. And you have the option to spend it on cards, so I can buy common cards, rare cards, epic or legendary cards. And I know, I know what the rarity is going to be. And the higher the rarity, the more it's going to cost me. Okay. Or I can buy loot chests, which also could have cards in them. They also could have energy. They also could have potions. They also could have a number of other things in there. And a very small chance to get um, a very nice prize, like a card pack or something like that. Either, Or uh, you could buy a title. Uh, which uh, it goes a little bit deeper into the game, but it's it's they're they're good for various uh, utilitarian um, things in the game, uh, improving things. Or you could come down here and buy merits, which can be used to buy a separate type of card pack. You can use it to buy energy, which is used to be able to play more hands on a daily basis within Splinterlands, and therefore possibly win more in, in game. Um, and you could also get uh, legendary or alchemy potions, which increases the either rarity or the gold foil percentage chance of drawing a card. So there's a number of different things you can buy here, but I uh, have a strong focus on epics because I want to improve. Um, there's several cards. Let's go. Let's just take a minute and go over to my items and filter by rebellion reward cards, and then let's filter by epic. We've talked about these a number of times, but I feel that the, uh, especially the Thanalorian Blade, I love Olivia the Brook, uh, whoever designed her, kudos. 
very interesting uh, hands uh, matches when you throw her in there. Uh, you can never tell what's going to go, what's going to happen. Uh, Arachne Weaver um, and Halfling Refugee. Night Reaper is especially useful in a few different things like um, Earthquake Match, things like that. Um, and I don't have a whole lot of experience with Shock Trooper or Kazi Conjurer, but the rest of these really make it worth sinking some glint into... Um, into epics. So let's go ahead and get some epics. Um, let's go ahead and buy my first batch. And that will uh, take a good portion. Of course, let's go ahead and use alchemy potions to hopefully get some gold foils here. And then we'll go do a combine. So, okay, let's go ahead and reveal all some halfling refugees. Let's see here. Okay. Two Olivias. Three Olivias. Okay, so three Olivias. One, two, three, four Night Reapers. Two, three, four Shock Troopers. One Thanalorian, two Thanalorian, three Thanalorian blades. Ah, 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 ah. So, okay, good stuff. So, uh, I also, while we're here, uh, buy a couple batches of merits because uh, these yield uh, excellently strong cards uh, that take uh, the longest time in the the game to build their levels up. Let's go back to the shop. Let's buy another. And we will take a look at those as well here in a minute. I firmly believe that uh, if you have the glint, the first, at least the first two levels of of um, merits are worth it. And if you have them, the first three levels as well. And I have a few card packs uh, on the side to open as well. So we'll ch check them out let's go spend in the guild shop and I have 7,000 which will I can get three more gladius cases okay I have enough to get 31 blood bloodstones which act very much like uh, potions do uh, however these are used specifically with these gladius packs that we uh, just bought okay let's go ahead and uh, while we're here let's just go ahead and open them so I have 11 packs to open. Let's go ahead and open multiples. Like I was saying, these Gladius cards are very strong. If you're first starting out, this is one of the main reasons to get into a guild. To start, oh, I just had my mouse there. It highlighted an epic. Um, let's go ahead and one epic, two epics, three epics. Oh, a legendary. Okay, so this is an above average draw here. So let's go ahead and open it up. What I was going to say is one of the reasons to get into the guild, uh, a guild, is to start. Um, there's multiple reasons, but one of them is so that you can start earning merits so that you can start buying these Gladius cards because they take uh, forever to level up. Okay, so the legendary was Zulox Nightwind, which I'm not familiar. Don't use him a whole lot. Looks to be pretty beefy. Uh, nine mana with Void Armor and Bloodlust. Bloodlust is where it's at because that is the power that really separates these cards from most other cards because they can really ramp up quickly. Oh, I got a Gold Foil Catrelba. Nicely. Uh, let's see here. Uh, don't use Trap Calloway too long. Falloway, sorry. Um, don't use him too often. Don't use Gorth too often. Um, four Catrelba Gobsons. And a couple Captain Katie, so not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, so let's do that. Now let's go back, see how many. I have a little bit over 100,000 left. Um, let's go ahead. I do want to get uh, at least one Legendary, so let's go ahead and buy a Legendary. I want to buy at least one Legendary every, time, every season. And we got a Gallicus. I seem to be getting him a lot. Okay. Now that means I'm down to about 70,000 somewhere in there. Let's see how. Let's do 50 rares. Uh, 
Yeah, go ahead and do gold, uh, use potions. Ah, gold foil. Okay. And we'll go back and do... Okay, I can do half a batch of commons. Nope, not using potions on commons. And then we'll do combine and see where I stand. Gold foil. Two gold foils, same card. Three gold foils. Four gold foils. Four gold foils of two different cards, so two of each. It's odd how that happens. And yeah, it takes a while to turn over 200 cards. Five gold foils. At least it's a different type of card. In the show comments, let me know what you got this time around. What the most interesting thing you you pulled. Or what your strategy is. I'm pushing for epics. Because I think they lend the, the highest strength. Okay, so round that off with a gold, uh, another gold foil. Okay, so let's go back to items. Okay, so let's clear. Once again, I've said this before. If you're going to use the combine all buttons, make sure you have everything filtered down to where you exactly want, you know you want to combine all those because if you don't use your filters over here on the left and you have all your cards up on the selection, if you press combine all, it's going to combine them all, whether you want it or not, you know. Uh, so uh, I have filtered this right down to um, Rebellion Rewards cards, which my whole point is I'm, I'm just pressing until these are maxed out because that's my overall goal. So let's go ahead and combine them all. And then we'll take a look uh, by rarity to see where I stand. Okay, let's start off with commons. Okay, it looks like I'm dipping my toes into the seventh level now. A lot of them are still sixth, but I've got a few that have went over the border into seventh. Good, good things. Um, they're gonna start being useful for me in play. Okay, these are the rares and, um, oh, I've got a fifth level. Um, but for the most part, they're level four and some of them are still level three. My epics, which I was extremely interested in, uh, my Olivia the Brook is still level three. Uh, I've got two more before level four. Uh, and my Arachne Weaver is two, Night Reaper three, Shock Trooper three, Kazi Kaja, so mostly threes. Um, looking forward to maxing out these three especially. Okay, let's jump into Legendaries. Now, legendaries, yeah, about half and half. Uh, well, uh, a little bit less than half and half. My Endless Gibbon, Gallicus, and Griffsey are level two, and the rest are level one of the ones I have. Okay, uh, segue over to my second my secondary account. Uh, this is the end of season for it. I ended in Diamond 3 at 2760. And I earned uh, about 49,500 glint. Uh, this account, you've, if you've been with me for a while, is much lower level in power. And it doesn't have nearly as much SPS staked on it. So, um, But it's going uh, nicely. And uh, I have a secondary guild, uh, KGM. Shout out to KGM. Hope everything's going well. He was in the path of one of the recent hurricanes. Um, let's go ahead and claim that glint and take a look at this account. And I feel that I'm going to do pretty much the same thing with this account as I did with my secondary account. Okay, so we have some merits. Uh, 
So this is one of the second, uh, one of the other reasons why you would want to join a guild is because uh, participate participating in the guild brawls on a weekly basis gets you uh, merits as well as SPS. Uh, the merits, depending upon how your guild places in the brawl, obviously the higher you place, the more merits you get, but you also get more SPS. So on this last brawl, this account got 24 SPS, uh, which goes into my staking pool, staked pool, uh, which this account can use as much as possible. So let's go ahead and I also need to get this account started. Um, since the switch over from the season, I have not come in and uh, bought my wild pass yet, but this, this account does play in the wild. So I did switch some over from my primary account. So let's go ahead and um, pay for the wild pass so I can play another season on this account, uh, which Archmage, Archmage plays as well. So yes, I got uh, KGM uh, assigned me to Frey 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and First of all, let's go ahead and go into the shop. I have a uh, little bit over 400,000 glint to spend, primarily because I didn't spend any last season. Uh, I've been so busy lately that I uh, just haven't spent any. So let's go ahead and go into the shop. And you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to double down once again. Let's go ahead and buy a full round of epics on this account. I only have two potions, so it is what it is. I don't buy extra potions. I just use what I got. Okay, let's reveal all. Now this, this set here will help this account out vastly. Okay, bunch of Arachne Weaver. Nice. Um, a favorite of Gathering the Magic. It's very strong. I'm really loving the Thanalorian Blade. Shout out to the design on this one. Um, but my Arachne Weaver is going to be able to level up. I can see that. Okay, let's close out. Uh, so I have 223,000 left. Oh, do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and buy my three rounds of merits. And as you can see, as you buy rounds of things in the shop, uh, the price progressively goes up. So at a certain point, you guys say, okay, I'm uh, uh, not going to buy anymore. But generally speaking, I think the price is worth it for these merits. Due to the strength of the cards and how long it takes to just amass those cards. Okay, so we bought our full round of epics. Let's buy some rares. I have 213,000 left. Uh, how much is a half of? Uh, let's just do a full round of rares. Gold foil to start things off. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this. I just knew I didn't get around to last week. Uh, oh, two gold foils uh, to go ahead and beefing up this account, spending the glint from last season. So I just piled it all into this season. This will definitely help out my account, though. Okay, now I have 138,000. Can I get a full round of commons? I sure can. And this is going to take a while to open. I might have to speed up these sections. It takes a while to load, too. Okay, let's reveal all. Once again, um, this account was created a number of years back uh, off of basically extra cards I had from my primary account. And it's been that way ever since. And I can't... There's a few cards that I bought specifically for this account, such as some of the summoners. Um, but for the most part, everything is just like extra cards off my primary account. So where these come in is these are definitely going to increase the strength of my deck. 
Um, there's another gold foil, uh, as well as help me out. In, they've been especially helpful in the newer phrase, uh, the guild phrase, where it's, uh, I like the Chaos Legion and Rebellion. Uh, previously, I had hardly very few uh, Rebellion cards. Picking up all these cards allows me to play a little bit more easily in those frays, definitely. Another gold foil. Another gold foil. Nice. If you're relatively new to the game, uh, a couple advantages to using gold foil, another gold foil. Uh, they don't start off at level one. Um, and so if you're playing relatively lower level and you're buying cards or renting cards, always, ch and another gold foil, always check the price of the gold foils. Because say for instance, it may be cheaper to buy a level one gold foil uh, common, which starts out at level three, it may be cheaper to buy that than it is to buy um, the regular foil enough to make a level three, is uh, you know enough to combine to make a level three. So always check the gold foil uh, variety of the card that you're going to buy or rent because you never know there could be a deal on a gold foil that uh, ends up being uh, cheaper in the long run. Plus. Um, when you win with it, you will make more SPS and glint. So those are the two advantages primarily. Okay, there we go. Uh, a lot of cards there. And those will definitely help this account out if this will close. Okay, let's go back over to the cards. I'll just leave a little bit of this for next season. Um, let's go back to what I have. Uh, filter, once again, by Reward uh, Rebellion. Um, once again, just I just keep mentioning this because I love this uh, combine all cards button, but you got to be very careful on where you use it. So I've got all of my uh, rewards cards selected here. So let's go ahead and combine all. And we will take a look at where my secondary count stands. I'm primarily looking, getting these up in the range where they can start to be useful in like gold, that kind of range. Okay, so let's take a look at commons. So once again, uh, level fives. Nice. These are starting to be useful. They're starting to get in that range where they've picked up their second power. Rares, uh, level three. Mostly level three. A couple of them in level two. Epics. This is what I really want to look at. Oh, my Olivia the Brook is still level one. I was really hoping I could level her up because at level two, she picks up Mimic, which is the power that makes this card. Okay, so, um, but I do now have a level two Arachne Weaver, a level two Night Reaper, a level two Thanalorian Blade, Kazi Conjurer. So most of them are level two, not the one I wanted, but uh, Thanalorian Blade and Arachne Weaver will really help out. Okay, and I don't have any legendaries. Okay. So this has been Bronze Dragon, just providing a little bit of a, a, a news update changes as well as take a look at what I did with my account earnings this uh, for this past season. Uh, let me know uh, once again in the comments what you did with your glint this season, anything interesting you got um, and what you're focusing on. Anyway, I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy and hey, I'll see you in Splinterlands. Thank you.